Hey y'all, here in Alabama, they love a good crawfish bowl. I'm a Georgia girl, so I grew up doing low country boils with shrimp instead of crawfish. It's the beginning of crawfish season, so I'm embracing Sweet Home Alabama by having a bunch of my friends over for a crawfish boil. The first step is to bring your water to a boil, and this is gonna take at least 45 minutes, so you wanna go ahead and get that started. As soon as you light your cooker, you wanna go ahead and get your flavoring ingredients in there. Onions, lemons, and garlic. Take your crawfish boil to the next level. Most importantly, your seasoning packets. That's where all of the flavor of your crawfish is gonna come in. I'm using a blend of seasoning packets today, Zatarans, McCormick's, and Cajun seasoning. It's an extra spicy seasoning, but whatever y'all like is perfectly fine. While your water's coming to a boil, you need to get your crawfish ready to be cooked. Crawfish are dirty. They're called mud bugs for a reason. These things live in the mud. It's really important to purge your crawfish before you cook them. Fill up a cooler with water, dump your crawfish in, and let them soak for about 10 minutes. After they soak, drain your water and repeat the process again. Now that my cooker's going, it is time to get this party started. No crawfish boil is complete without a group of friends to eat them with. I think my water has finally come up to a boil, so I'm going to dump in my potatoes. They need to go for about 20 minutes before I add in my sausage. My potatoes have been in here for 20 minutes at a full boil, so I'm throwing in my andouille or andouille sausage. I say andouille, but the real Cajuns say andouille. The sausage has been in there for about five minutes. Next up is the corn. You can use yellow or white, whatever you have on hand. That needs to go for about five more minutes before we put the coffee. My corn has been in here for a little while. It is time for the piece de resistance, the crawfish, which are going in. Word to the wise, do not stand over a hot crawfish bowl for too long because I am getting a good whiff of some fumes over here and they are strong. They will make you sneeze and cough for days. Look at these things creeping and crawling around, y'all. Your crawfish should be alive when you put them in there. Just say a little prayer, say I'm sorry. It's like lobster and crabs. Dig in here, this thing is called a spider. Don't be scared to get in there. Get a good little, ooh. You wanna get them in as fast as you can, so as many of the crawfish in at one time. If you have to cook them in batches, that's totally cool. We can get one more. Now, put the lid back on. These things only need about five to 10 minutes. Turn the heat off and you're gonna let them soak while you finish setting the table. They'll be really good and seasoned and ready to go. This is the best part, but also the scariest part. So if you need help, by all means, ask for it. We're pulling the crawfish out. Be careful, it might drip on your feet, so just watch what you're doing. All right, I'm coming in. those crawfish, y'all, I'm so excited. Okay, before y'all dig in, one more thing, the most important step, I'm gonna pass this to y'all. Butter, obviously, extra Cajun seasoning. So I'm just gonna give a good sprinkling. Y'all tell me when. This is like parm <laughs> at an Italian restaurant. <laughs> They say in Cajun country, they say les bon temps roulé, which means let the good times roll. So, y'all, let's dig in. I mean, this mayo is really good. How'd you make this? This is Creole mayo, which has some 
ketchup, some Dijon mustard, some mayo, fresh herbs like tarragon, of course the Cajun seasoning, and a couple more things in there. It's just a little added thing that I like to have on my crawfish boils so people can dip their vegetables in it, and some people even like to do the crawfish in. It's delicious, I'm gonna get some more. <laughs> so Ivy, how do you properly eat a crawfish? Girlfriend, here we go. <laughs> Pinch it at the head, all right, and then you just kinda wanna break the tail off, like that. I like to suck the heads, that's where all the good flavor is, so. Get that, chunk it. This part up here that was close to the head, mm -hmm. peel about two sections off of it. And then you should be able to pinch the tail and hold onto your meat, and then it should slip right out. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you call them crawfish, crawdads, or mud bugs, there is no better way to get people around the table in the Deep South. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the bell. We'll see you next time on Hey Y'all. Cheers. Cheers.